from the cocktails with Tia and the Jays. I'm Turquoise with my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And we have a lot to discuss, a few of the trending topics from this past week. Um, we're going to discuss Raheem Bailey, the young man who had his finger amputated after escaping some bullies in the UK. Walmart's attempt to do it for the culture that doesn't go so well. A woman is beaten inside of a gas station by a man and the unfortunate massacre that uh, occurred at a Texas elementary school. So um, to get started, of course, our hearts go out to the Texas elementary school victims. Let's go ahead and put up the picture of the victim. It's identified by the governor of Texas as 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, a student at Uvalde High School, and he is believed to have shot and killed his grandmother before entering Robb Elementary School and opening fire with a firearm that has not yet uh, been made clear, according to police. They're still trying to track down the weapon. Shot and killed 14 elementary school students along with one teacher. And law enforcement sources tell us, David, that the suspect, 18-year-old Salvador Ramos himself... shooting as well as a picture of a few of the victims um, you know I, this is very common in the United States it's been an it happens ongoing way issue. too often yeah it's been an ongoing issue um, and it's it's terrible we need to get a handle on not only gun control but I think there should be there should be more security at school like I know some schools they do have the metal detectors and things like that once you, before you can even enter in the school. Um, I feel like that should be a, a standing uh, policy. And not only that, is this gentleman was 18 and he went to elementary school. What is he doing there? Yes. I heard that his grandmother, the one who he also shot before he mm -hmm. went to the school, worked at the school. But there was a situation know with kids his is, grandmother, why bring in? Yeah, I, 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 there's no need for mm -hmm. any of that. But I think that because I've seen that a few schools were doing how there should only be one entryway where people are allowed. Every so other every, way should every be, other be locked. locked. Mm -hmm. I mean, I but know no, they say, I it, it, yeah, not, I know they try to, you know, using fire hazards and things like that. But no, when school is in session, they, and, you know, there should always be somebody that's available that can unlock if mm -hmm. need be. But all perimeter should be secure except for the one entrance that way they can't just come in there and randomly and just shoot up kids and there like should that. be a guard there should be something. a guard or, or a like few, there should be well at least at the front entrance yeah there's a few and schools maybe that are if doing you that. need to need a, uh, another door unlocked that's each what I was thinking. Entrance, if you yeah. need to do it for a fire ha hazard. Yes. Or have them at each entrance. Yeah, they're like, there's one particular school. There's actually a few schools where there have been uh, veterans that have volunteered to, you know, stand guard outside of the school while, you know, to make sure nobody tries to come in, which I think that's a very noble and very uh, brave of them to do and that's those that those are our soldiers you know they do that but uh i think there should be more things like that because you know what's funny is i always think about how like in a lot of hood schools uh, because of gang violence they had metal detectors and stuff but you never really saw shootings at hood schools that's because the beef would be outside the school it would be outside <laughs> the school they never brought it into mm -hmm. the school this whole idea of you being hurt by somebody and you want to take a bunch of people out and particularly children these were innocent babies mm -hmm. and imagine sending your kid to school and then they don't never come home because some crazy motherfucker is mad and they something try happened to, to him. force you to send your kids and then they force you to fire. send your, your kids to school like you're like uh, if your kid don't go to school they'll charge you for truancy mm -hmm. but they can literally get murdered at their school that's that's crazy that's wild to me that that is the case and the fact that people are fighting all the there's arguments on policy change and you know and this has become a b political thing but y'all literally are trying to make it so women can't have abortions but y'all think this is a it's not okay and but you're not doing anything you're to prevent it like if it's, the it's, woman either the kid is gonna the pregnancy is gonna be terminated in the beginning or the kid may not have be, a fighting yeah, chance it's like uh you need to give school. it's like no what they're basically saying is you got to give birth to that baby so that i can kill it with my ar-15 once it hits school age basically that's what they're telling women mom what do you have to say well it's sad but i think you should go his name is celeb source, source. on youtube on youtube he had a video the police officers 
not letting the parents go in, trying to argue and fight with the parents, and tackling then them and tackling them, them and in everything handcuffs. else. Yeah, and then they had police officers going into school getting their kids and telling the other kids, I'm not sure the exact words, but go to Celeb Source and, and take a look at that there video. Few- it's really sad because it's always bad people, they say, in different areas, but why is it so common in the police department? It's more than one or two bad apples. It seems like it's one or two good police officers because to go in there and get your kids when you could have brought the other kids out. He said something to them kids. Well, I don't remember exactly actually, what it was. Actually, no, the worst. Now, I heard the, the account of there was a boy who survived who was saying how uh, they were hiding under a table, under a sheet that was covered so the gunman couldn't see him. And that offers, officers had yelled at them, uh, yell for help so that we can get you. And one of the kids came and yelled, and because the gunman heard her, came and shot her, mm-hmm. like they didn't come, like they literally asked them to speak and when they spoke they got killed Mm. so they're like responsible and they were delayed on entering in that gunman was in there for like over an hour Mm -hmm. shooting people before they did something but they entered because they they went and got their kids that's why but they didn't they didn't enter with heavy you know they entered enough they they had enough to the team they 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 had enough where they made it to their kids and that's why i'm upset because they supposed to protect and serve everybody. But I am upset kid. that they were stopping parents. There was a lady that yeah. had to jump a barri- uh, barrier to they literally went to her kid's classroom and had to get her kids to get out. Your kid, they should have been able to go in and get mm-hmm. there. And it's uh, sad because they'll enter a home with a warrant for drugs with a, Guns a blazing. whole army. 20, Guns 20 blazing. officers. They don't care if their kids in there or not. Guns drawn for somebody selling a little bit of marijuana or a little bit of cocaine, but can't go in here and get one, one gunman, gunman that's killing teachers and, and innocent students. students. I don't I, I don't understand that. It's ass backwards. It Society is. is ass it, backwards. It really is. And um, like, I, like we were saying earlier, this has been an ongoing issue in yeah. the United States. Like the first school shooting ever was in 1853. Yeah. And once a teacher. Yeah. And according to some reports, I believe that it's been like 554 school like, yeah. uh, shootings. And that's, you know. That's the, crazy. It is. It's very crazy. And the one that stands out, um, well, a few stands out most to me is Columbine. Columbine. High, Sandy the, Hook. Sandy Hook. Miller South, Miller South, over here in Omaha, Nebraska. And I just, I just can't fathom like the thought of number one. Okay, it, it's bad when your kid goes to school and get bullied. Mm-hmm. And then on the second hand, it's also bad if they're not being bullied, but they are at risk of being killed because someone, like a, you know, maybe the guy was bullied or whatever, and decided to target everybody in the school. We never know really um, a lot of the background information, but it's sad. I feel like. You shouldn't be forced to send your child to school. Yeah. Granted, anything can happen anywhere, like the but, Buffalo but shooting, shooting at the gr- know, uh, grocery uh, store, the, the the church shooting, the church shooting. But it's just sad that you can't go to these places that you think you are safe at. And I feel like a parent, if you don't force the parent to send the kid to school, most likely the kid will be with the parent most of the time. So at least the parent could protect their kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let them learn online until y'all get this stuff under control because all they want to do it is does, learn. It's like guns are the real and pandemic. I, yeah, but the sad thing is kids go there to learn and mm-hmm. see their friends, but you may can't see your friends. Maybe your parent can take you to your friend's, friend's house. house. Or maybe y'all can have group settings meet together, but I think until they figure out how this stuff can stop, they and should. They still want guns to be legal. You know what? Yeah. They're, you know what's really making me mad though is that now the suggestion is to arm the teachers, and I'm like, I mean, I, granted, if a teacher is comfortable with that, I think that's fine and dandy. But I also feel like y'all put way too much on teachers. Yeah, like they they already underpaid. Mm-hmm. They already have to b- bring their own school supplies for mm-hmm. these kids. They already have to, you know 
uh, work extra hours, even longer than their working hours. They have to do all this extra work, and now y'all want them to be fucking Avengers too mm-hmm. for less than thirty thousand dollars a have year. Security. That's and crazy. I think teachers should get raises and yeah, make they should at really least be paid for this. enough. I say enough, like more, just as much as everybody else, like, like attorney, yeah, attorneys, yeah, attorneys. Because that's a very that hard stuff job. Is hard. They have to protect the children. They have to teach the children. They have to stop the children from fighting each other. I was going to say police officers, but the way they act, they don't make no they money. They have to stop the children from fighting each other. Now they got to fucking carry guns in case a gunman has to come in. Y'all want them to do they way too security, much. Though. Y'all they, they y'all want them to do way too much. This Instead is ridiculous. Instead of wasting all that security on them presidents and stuff, put them <laughs> in their, them schools. Because the president ain't nobody going to do nothing. You can have the a The school couple. should have secret service. Yeah, I mean... Give them a few, yeah. but nobody ain't going after no presidents nowadays. Yeah. And you know what's really sad is like how twisted society is, is a, a Quinta uh, Brown, the one who does Abbott Elementary, mm-hmm. which is a comedy show surrounded about an elementary school. She's been getting uh, DMs about do a shooting uh, episode on Abbott Elementary. And she had to tweet out, she's like, I don't know why y'all think it's a good idea to message me instead of y'all political leaders about, you know, real policy change. Why would y'all want me, she said, there's, y'all clearly not okay. Because why would y'all want me to do a, a show that's supposed to be lighthearted and family oriented? I was going to say, I thought you said yeah, it's, it a, a it's a comedy, comedy. show. Why, she funny. was saying, I'm not the one y'all should be coming to about this stuff. I y'all agree should be, with her. Yeah, I agree with her too. And then she said, for y'all to even think that as well, y'all not okay. Well, y'all for, not okay. For me, why do you need a scripted show to when do it's with right there in your face? In real life. It's already happening. That. Yeah, that's weird. The real life situation is, is already sad enough. Right. Why, Why would you want that? it to be in your entertainment? Yeah. And that's how I feel about a lot of shows. Like, I don't want to see my favorite show do like a Black Lives Matter movie. I'm sorry, I just don't. Because I already deal with the reality of it. Of it. I, I don't need show it to be on the to TV escape, show. You know, yeah. sometimes to yes. escape with reality. the tragedy of reality. And so I don't like to see. I don't like to see them like. You that's why I'm a horror that's movie why watcher. I really. Like how Issa Rae didn't want to incorporate her yeah. last season of Insecure, the whole pandemic thing. Yeah. Because it's like, we already we're dealing, already dealing with, it. with it. I don't want to see none of that. We're trying to escape shows. reality. Yeah. We're not trying to relive in virtual reality. Yeah. You know, we, we just want to inter- be I entertained. I think that is so ignorant well, to request that. Hey, y'all want to be entertained? Y'all better watch uh, Love and Marriage of Huntsville. <laughs> Woo-hoo! <laughs> now, that's a good show. And it's not scripted. But I will say... They pretty ghetto. Yeah, too. Mel, she all about business, but the rest of them, they all about gossiping and breaking That's up. That's how most of reality men. shows are. But the sad yeah. thing is, these are fucking men. Oh. Oh. It's based <laughs> well, on the men you know what? acting it's a, like it's that. A, it's a very, it's a blatant lie that they say women gossip more than men. Yeah, and that's Men true. are very, very gossiping. Yeah, they do. But it's a, I, 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 I love it. I love it. I, I like to say it's, it's messy. I but just I like, hope I just we hope like watching well, ratchet stuff but too. People were saying that they need to get the Scots off the show. I kind of agree because when Mel pitched the show, it was about black people Uncle making George, money. Yeah, realtor. not arguing and fighting and stuff, and they turning it into something else. Crabs in the barrel. That's how a lot of the uh, reality shows. They start like, off they, something positive and then it mm-hmm. turns completely negative. That's because yeah. people can't work together. Everybody wants to be the best. Everybody wants to be on top. Everybody looks at everybody as competition. It's weird. Yeah. And um, before we go to the next topic, I do, because the gunman, um, his mother did a quick, small little um, interview with CNN. So let's play that clip. I have no words. I have no words to say. I don't know what he was thinking. He had his reasons for doing what he did. And please don't judge him. I only want the innocent children who died to forgive me. What do you tell their families? Forgive me. Forgive my son. I know he had his reasons. What reasons could he have had? Wait a second. Mean, you have your, he had his reasons. You don't what? have no 
more no. reason to kill no kids. That Unless you somebody don't even tried know. to kill him, he has no reason and to be shooting at that, anybody. Just go after that person you're Yeah, talking. what he don't had his reasons. To, yeah. You don't have to go not to kill no kids. Yeah. His no reasons. reasons. There is no reason to kill nineteen innocent children and, and people that you don't even know haven't done anything to you. And then the poor teacher, um, one of the teachers, I believe her name, oh God. Please forgive me if I messed it up. I think her name was Maria. Oh, her, her, husband, her husband died of a heart attack two, two days, days later. After, like he, he he so fl- I think he had a broken heart too because they were together since they like were high school. Years. Oh, they, yeah. wow. Like they, that's uh, they only knew each other, and for him to just lose her like that, you know, it's even fucked up. They had four kids. Yeah. Oh wow. And and for him to have a heart attack two days later, now these kids got got nobody. Mm-hmm. All because some yo son had his reasons. What the fuck? Ain't no reason. Destroy I, all them lives for it, what? So but off. you know, what's gonna make me upset is they. Did he die? The boy? Yeah, he killed himself. Yeah. Oh, no, good. He, uh, I thought oh, he got good. in the shootout. I thought they said that he killed himself. Well, no matter. They he's... thought he was still. Well, okay. So, you know, things do get misconstrued and. When stories first come out, a lot of things, they don't have Yeah, they have a lot of, a lot of different stories. But, but I, I saw in the news. They had went in there to get him, and he already had killed himself. No, I heard that he busted out, like, when they entered, he busted out, like, one of the closets shooting at them. I think he died in a shootout. Well, it doesn't matter. I just he wanted did, to though. say that he, as long as he passed with them kids, he got to face. That's a horrible thing to see all them kids' faces. And they you were know, school, and they were just they, the day before they were getting honor rolls. Mm-hmm. This is the end of school. Year. And and then mm-hmm. was, and this is the last week of school. You know, one of them, the girls that passed away, she she didn't even want to go to school that day. Oh wow! And her uh, her uh, uncle was like, you know, just go. This is almost over. Not and now they feel go. terrible for feeling. making. She probably did have a feeling like, and now they feel terrible for making her go because she really didn't want to go that day. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's just horrible. All around every story. And the fact that some of these kids were so brutalized that they're not even recognizable. They had to do DNA testing to Mm -hmm. determine who they were. Yeah. Yes. Was shot a lot of times? Where they were unrecognizable. Oh, wow. And then I I even heard that that some parents are even thinking about doing like the Emmett Till situation where they'll have open caskets just to see how bad it is. Mm -hmm. I I wouldn't want to see it. I wouldn't want to see it. But yes, some funeral homes, or I think somebody's paying it for them. Because funeral homes that they well, they don't do that stuff, homes, but yeah, I know th- I know that's what they said that they weren't going to charge the families. Mm-hmm. I think somebody else is covering it, like on the low. Prince used to do that a lot. Remember, pay for shit on the low and didn't tell nobody who he was. Mm-hmm. But um, it, that's just terrible that he he because based and also I heard all of these kids were all in one classroom, so he's basically in one classroom just shooting everybody up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is just a tragedy all around, and there is no reason. Yes, AR-15 should be banned. I don't care how much you like guns. There's I mean, no because, reason. Yeah, there's no reason for you to have a military-style weapon. But, but you can have fantasies of the zombie apocalypse all you want to. Can That's I ask not reality. The question, was he Caucasian? No, he was Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. And the kids he killed were Hispanic. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Now, I thought it would be harder for anybody but Caucasians to get stuff like that. But obviously he has some kind of mental. And that's the thing. That's what a lot of people like. There's been this bill that got passed by the house that's been sitting where that they're asking for background checks. I'm like, if you have to have all yeah, of these questions, yeah, previous uh, they, that, they should. They should have background. There's a if bill that's just even sitting have, waiting for the uh, Senate to pass. Even if mental, you have uh, mental, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, it doesn't make any sense for you to be able to get a gun. But think about it this way: when it comes to driving a car, you you have you have to have you can't be disabled a certain way. You gotta have you have to take tests. You have to get licensing. You have there's regulations for everything. For alcohol, there you got to be 21 in, in order to drink. You cannot operate a vehicle drinking alcohol. There's regulations for everything. There should definitely be regulations on guns. Guns are one of the most dangerous things that a person can purchase. If you can put regu- if you understand that driving a car is dangerous, why don't you understand that having a gun is dangerous? So there should be regulations to all of that. If you want to regulate all these other things, you want to regulate women's bodies, you want to regulate, you know, weed, you want to regulate all that, regulate guns. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
But most of the time, things that make sense, people don't like to Common sense ain't too common. That's because it's all about money and power when it comes to society and in politics. It's all about money and power. Everybody just wants to rule over everybody. It's weird as fuck to me. It's weird as fuck. Everybody just wants to rule over, or no, I want to have my rights, but I want to take your rights. That's the mentality of a lot of people. It's weird. Well, what they don't know won't hurt them. Because I do whatever I want. Whatever, I do what I want. All right, this is a, our next story is uh, also about a situation at school. Mm. So, um, 11-year-old Raheem Bailey, he lost his finger while trying to um, escape some bullies. Mm. This is That's based crazy. off the, out in the uh, UK, United Kingdom. So, he said that he is fleeing from bullies. They had kicked him, hit him, you know, kind of beat him up pretty badly, and he went to hop over a fence. And his finger got stuck. And so when he got to the hospital, his finger had to be amputated. Mm. That's terrible. Yeah, very, very bad. And then where is the teacher? um, The young man, Raheem Bailey, the boy who lost, had to have his finger amputated. All right. And according to his mother, um, Chantel Bailey, she knew about him being bullied, and she had spoke with the school, the principal, and everything. They said, going to take care of it. Never. Nothing and never, they never came, do. came of it. Yeah. And now the poor boy doesn't have a finger, but a GoFundMe account was set up to try to get him a um, prosthetic finger. So they actually passed what they were asking for in donations through the GoFundMe account. Good. But that's really sad that he had to go through that. And then he jumped the fence. Why don't teachers, the back yeah. in the day, teachers used to stand out, make sure the kids get on the bus they or in the parents' car. And grounds. if he was walking. Yeah, like they were probably they, off school grounds. I, I mean, it's, it's only just. so far the teachers would. That's yeah, true, yeah. but it's, it's, it's just, it doesn't make any sense because <laughs> nowadays they protect the bullies. You know what I think, though? If more parents were teaching their children not to bully and to leave people alone. Like, it's okay for people to be different. You don't have to like somebody. Like, if, if and this is another thing I don't understand. Like, when it comes to bullying, it's okay to not like somebody's style. Mm-hmm. It's okay to not like somebody's hairstyle. Keep that shit to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mind your business. No need to you just yourself. don't wear it. Yeah, you just don't wear it. You, you do you and let people do them. Hey, my that's, mentality, you that's like it, I love it. That's what makes the world the world. Everybody people different. People is different. Everybody was the same in the world. Would be, be a boring. Boring. Place. boring. Yeah, we'd be walking around here like, like some, some robots. Uh, robots. Yeah, like some computerized robots. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that people Why are some indiv- Twilight the Zone. It ain't really nice when everybody's the same. Don't y'all? You're about the pigs. Everybody zone. is pigs, and I'm the pretty one. But and they all think I'm ugly. ugly. <laughs> she had to go to a whole different town where the decent. I remember when Grace, Grace when Grace said that she said I feel like I'm on the Twilight Zone. I say that every day. Yeah, she do say that. I do. I do. It's crazy. Crazy how much it imitates life. real life back then. Mm-hmm. It's still, hey, yeah. it's still now. No, but I mean, back, back then, then they yeah. made it. I watched the old Twilight yeah. Zones, not the new ones, and life is just imitating it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I pray that everything works out for. Your parents teach your kids to leave other kids alone. If you, you ain't should. got nothing nice to say, don't, don't say, say it at all. At all. And don't you have no reason. And don't put your hands on nobody. You have no reason. If they put their hands on you, you have no reason putting your hands on them. But you know, uh, the thing about the reason why the bullies get in the way, the teachers is not helping the parents straighten it out. Because when Vea was getting bullied, so that's my daughter. They, they refused to to let us see. Or find out who they were. Or even meet with their parents. Because yeah. I want to meet with the parents. Because that's how you roll. And one day I caught the girl coming to the bus stop. And I went the in there and talked. Yeah. He was always trying to stop me mm-hmm. from getting to the, pe- the to the kids and the parents. But I, I caught one and I went and talked to the mom. But it still really didn't help because it was so many of them. You know, and but what I do, I pull my daughter out of school. And that's what and a lot of people are going to end up doing. And she's smart as a whip. And yeah, she be correcting me. Mm-hmm. She's and me. smart. <laughs> I think if kids nowadays, if they can study at home, if they're willing to, 
they get a better knowledge of things because they have peace and quiet. And it's at their pace. And it's school, the right. you go for everybody, and everybody don't learn. Go fast. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, in the same amount of time. It takes time. Mm-hmm. So I, I think homeschooling is a great. Mm-hmm. So if your kids if you're being bullied, so. yeah. yeah. If your kids being bullied though, because kids bully people, kids for nowadays for nothing. And that's another. Thing. Well, they always did that, but it's really no. It's really mm-hmm. shouldn't be. Like my daughter, mm-hmm. when she was getting bullied, so the principal told me that a, a girl was hitting her on the head. Well, my daughter told me a girl was hitting her on the head. And the principal saw the video, the um, footage on, from the bus, and she would not let me see it. I was so sad, and I couldn't see it. So my daughter finally got tired and hit the girl back. I know she told me that, mm-hmm. but I did pull her out of school. My daughter never bothered anybody. She's, mm-hmm. the, She's sweetest. the sweetest girl. Yeah. Like so, I mean, she's I sassy now, but she was the sweetest little girl when she was in school. <laughs> but she's like she's very quiet. Yeah, she, she don't really bother don't, nobody. Don't she stays much. to herself. Yeah. So, and I think, um, like we always say to on our show, get therapy. Yeah. Uh, my daughter has a therapist, and I think that's also um, helped her to become more social. But as a parent, if I could not let my kid go to school knowing that they're being bullied. And I also couldn't let my kid go be, be a, a bully. bully. Yeah, I couldn't. You like, know? if you, I wouldn't send my kids a kid if they're terrorizing the other kids, and or if they're being terrorized by the yeah, other kids. Just, and I then, couldn't. why don't the teachers let the parents talk? Because yeah. then you get a better understanding what's going on. Y'all can probably work it out. Together. If we, if you can't, you can fight. That's just saying, we're going to work it out or we're going to come to blows. Why? One because you can't hit that kid even though I wanted to so many times. Because I would see the kid, but I wouldn't see the parent. Yeah. They don't let people do that. Remember that story of the little kid that was hitting the kids in the uh, uh, daycare? And, like, a two-year-old had, like, a swollen jaw from the boy hitting him. And, and the dad went to the daycare and started, like, just grabbed a random kid and was attacking it. But, see, I wouldn't do that. That's why they don't allow parents to do that. But, you know, you should strike. You should let the parents talk. If they want to talk to him and let him talk to that kid's parent, he... They probably they didn't even worked something even, out. Like they didn't tell y'all. They didn't want to tell and who the kid was. I don't was. understand those. See? Why protect? If y'all can't protect the innocent, why are you trying to protect, protect the bullies? Them bullies. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't that. get that either. I told you, society is ass backwards. It make it's ass sense. backwards. Just like they will punish people that are getting tortured versus the people that are torturing them. Like they rather suspend your kid for somebody picking on them. It makes no sense. Or like they constantly hitting on them. The moment they hit them back, oh, you shouldn't have did that. Well, you're not telling them not to hit me. Well, I shall be, you know, I've always told y'all hit kids back. Yeah, and I always have. And I've I've, (laughs) I've argued with kids' parents. I've argued with kids. Because it's wrong to just constantly be hitting on somebody. Mm -hmm. What is they beating your ass at home? But go home and hit them back. Don't come to school. A lot of the time it's because it's like when they probably get bullied by a parent where they can't, so they take it out on the kids in school. Well, then they need therapy. Yeah, they do. But nobody, like, I don't know. They just, they need help. Schools would be better off. And they had, if what they the hell can... are these guidance counselors for, or these counselors for, if they're not, like, helping these kids? Because they're not talking to the kids. Clearly. You know? They, they ain't they, probably posting they pictures mm, on social media. online or something, I'm but they work, definitely not yeah. talking to them kids. I love working with the students. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and all the students <laughs> outside, wild, and in the day in the room, just mm-hmm. photoshopped, taking uh, selfies it's and all sad. that. Yeah, even it, from doctors and nurses, how they'll yeah. be taking all these pictures in their And they offices, should be in surgery. They, <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Um, but speaking of being bullied and being attacked, so this man attacked this woman at a gas station. Let's go ahead and play the, the news clip, please. For about 10 seconds, it was punch after punch after punch. I never thought I would be in like a situation like that, ever. I walked into the gas station, he came in after me and was just like ranting and raving about y'all's kind and y'all need to go back and all this other stuff. While she was buying gas at the counter, she says the man was making racial remarks and was standing close to her, so she asked for some space. And he kept, didn't back up. I told him like, you know, like I could just call my dad or whatever. He was telling me like he had his gun in his car. Um, so at that point I felt threatened and then he put his beers on the counter in front of my stuff and I slid them over and at that point that's when he started punching me in the face. Let's take the video frame by frame. 
She's facing him, his leg at the bottom of the screen. You can see her arm move. Then he swings and punches her in the face. I was literally shocked. After the first hit, you could see my mouth drop. Like, when he first hit me, I was just like, whoa. And then he kept hitting me. I want, like, real charges to be brought to him, not just something simple. Like, this is an actual hate crime based on everything he was saying. And it's happening all over, like, to other people. And I just don't want it to happen to somebody else, like, in my neighborhood. And she says it starts by having him arrested. that you see in the video it was reports saying that he was outside um, arguing with someone and then upon entering the store I guess his frustration just carried on and so the young lady is African American and the man is Caucasian and she asked for some space he was a little too close to her in the line she's like Tell hey me. can you give me a little bit of space and he just started going off like I, you know I don't like your kind your kind is this your kind is that calling her the n word and then he just starts to punch her and it, repeatedly and so uh luckily the the clerk there called the cops and they took down his license plate number and he he was later arrested but he is looking at being charged with a hate crime he should be yeah but wait a minute look i understand the clerk called the police but if she somebody's still a twinkie they trying to beat you up why they didn't grab him until the police got there or lock the door was the, uh, if it's just women, if, if, I don't know if the clerk was a man or a woman. Numbers. I think that yeah, was, and then that was, was smarter for them to do. Yeah, they that was them. smart yeah. for them to do, but just think about it. No. Somebody's still a Twinkie. No, they well, or I'm, a five cent piece of candy. They lock your ass in there and call the police. I'm yeah. more concerned with the fact that she didn't have a means to protect herself. This is why I advocate for women to, you know, can. arm themselves mm. so y'all can protect yourself because mm. you can't expect anybody he did to help not you. Have like she, no right to and, be and for her, her, him to he just attack her, repeated. didn't notice, girl. Mm. She didn't do nothing to him mm -hmm. and him to just that's her. She should have been ready to fucking fire off on his ass. He talking about some. He got a gun in the car. I would have had a gun on my hip, mm -hmm. and he but wouldn't have most, probably made it out that store that day. Most people, he he knew she. She, she probably, probably was innocent. Yeah. Well, you know, nobody expects some random stranger to just true, attack them. But I will say that we do need to start carrying. We do. Because we got police officers attacking us. We got random people that think they better than us attacking us. Men. We got men attacking us. It's just too much. We need to start carrying. And I'm tired of if hearing stories of women getting if, attacked by men. If you don't want to kill... Nobody get you a little gun, and one of them little guns that you can taser, just stop them. Mace, do anything. A that knife, you can stop them. You need anything to protect no yourself. You Carry don't want to kill nobody. Yeah, she right. didn't want to say anything, but the clerk had took down the guy's license plate number, and of course the police had to, you know, follow up what happened with her. He, and he should go to jail for a long time. You don't he just should. put your hands on some person. That's a hate person. crime. That's and then you yell yelling racial slurs at her. That makes it a hate crime. And it was crime. crazy. I don't know who he was arguing with outside the store. He didn't think to fight them. them. It yeah. probably was he a chose man. A weaker. Yeah. It was probably a man. So he, he saw mm -hmm. a woman in the store who happened to be black. So yeah, perfect opportunity to attack. Mm -hmm. This is why arm you yourselves, what? lady. Or get mace, get tasers, or get something. Go together Knives. in a crowd. We're, we're mostly with each other. Yeah, we're always with each other. So you gonna try to get for one of us? You gotta come around, around but it's it, it's always more us. We us. don't try to go. Well, I do. I go get my ice no, by like, myself. Sometimes if I, if I need gas, yeah, I'll you go, go and you go by yourself because you. But you, you go to a go place you're familiar there. with, and you know but people I'm know you. But I'm just saying, people is too Sometimes weird. Sometimes you want to go where. Yeah, everybody, yeah, we literally go where people know who we are. Uh, Seinfeld, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Oh. Sometimes you want to go. Oh, I where? forgot about that <laughs> show. Um, That's everything remind me of Seinfeld. <laughs> I like that show. Um, any. Final thoughts on that story. Armed yourselves, like to get knives, tasers, mace. The only thing is, hide everything. Shooting everybody right, but everybody. the only thing about a knife, it can come back and cut you. The knives can come back and cut you while you're trying to defend yourself. Even though I carry one, but you mean like the. The, the blade can come back and cut you. Not if you get skilled with that stuff. I'd be skilled. I'd get, learn how to use it. Learn how to yeah. use it. Train how to use it. But I, I say a, a gun is better because you ain't got to be claustrophobic. A gun could, turn, could be turned on. Also turned on you, too. The person can grab it and... No. That's why I just said step, step back. 
When you got a gun, you can just step back and yeah, shoot them. Tra- all of this stuff requires some form of self-defense training. You're, you're not supposed to put yourself in a position where your weapon can be taken. That's why you take self-defense classes, get ni- uh, knives, mace, you know everything. For some people, you can, you can take all the classes that you want. But until you're in that situation... situation some true. people get into shock and freeze up. Yeah, I get it. But you still want to have the skill for just say, in case. Like, should we... I'm not trained for my job, and we honestly don't utilize anything that we was taught. <laughs> we don't, and I probably shouldn't say that, but we most mostly use like verbal redirection. But things can get physical, but we don't utilize those skills. Most of the time, it's like the staff be like in the mood of what, what do I do when really we just inter you know like intervene and talk. So yeah. we never really use none of those physical skills that we were. To use. But the physical skills wasn't nothing but like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and blocking the things like that. <laughs> no, no, he's getting punched yeah. in the face. He's still doing this. He's getting punched in the face. Like, a lot of staff do get hit on yeah. and don't use none of those skills. And I think it's more so being in shock. Because all the training that you have kind of go off the window. window when, when, it happens. when it happens, you're like, yeah. no, you didn't put your hands on me. So, I mean, but some, some people, they probably they probably can maintain those skills and know how to react when they need to, but some people will probably are freeze up. I get people, all, we all react differently, but it's always better to be prepared. You say that, but I could guarantee you if somebody walked up and slapped the shit out of you, you would be shocked. Cause I, I would oh be no, shocked I, I got a great reflex when it comes to being hit. Well, I would. I got I a great reflex. See you slap me, you get double, slapped immediately. Remember when devil slapped me? And how your reflex was to boom back right yeah. at him? That's me. Like yeah. I got a good reflex when I'm when it comes to being hit. You get hit back immediately. I was just sitting there watching. That was just the weirdest. And thing. Then, then he called you ugly. Then he said you ugly mean, and walked after away. I slapped him. I walked. I walked away. Okay, so I'm talking. The situation with me and my nephew when he was like 12, and he for some reason decided to slap me. And my reflex just was my re- immediate reaction was to slap him back. So I left the, situ- the environment. Went to my <laughs> because house. I left the situation after he got that hit, and he was just at my door. To my, you ugly, you ugly, <laughs> <laughs> still antagonizing me. But I ain't paying no mind. All right, so moving along. Uh, so Walmart, they their attempt to do it for the culture, you know, black. Culture didn't go so well. So, um, yeah. So this lady was shopping in Walmart, and she comes across the the Juneteenth ice cream cart. Let's put up the picture of the ice cream. All right. So she takes the picture, puts it on social media, asks everyone's opinion. Because it is the ice cream to celebrate Juneteenth. Um, and of course, black Twitter and you know all black social media outlets kind of had a frenzy over it. For I'll say my thoughts. You ladies go first. First off, the reason why I think there was so much backlash for this is because there is a, a black-owned ice cream well, that's not company. That's Because people didn't find out until later on. It was just the, the images and the how right, they, or the fact that it's a white-owned company yeah. that's doing it. That's the main thing. Mm-hmm. But my issue with it was is that there's a black-owned brand of ice cream called Creamalicious. They literally stole their flavor. She has a red velvet cake flavored ice cream, and they literally took the, her flavor and made this Juneteenth ice cream. So you're literally stealing from a black-owned company in honor of black, a black holiday. Mm-hmm. So that, that's kind of like a kick in the face. You know, you're just taking but from you a black company. I always thought Walmart, they say Walmart be trying to help black people. Walmart owners is prejudiced. They don't even like black people. And I've been knowing that a long time ago, like since they first opened. Mm-hmm. They don't even. It was they, a, a, it's great value, isn't that their brand? Yeah. But they still, it's great value is still the same thing. Ain't that like a Walmart brand? Yeah, it's their, a cheap it's their own, version like, like Kroger of Walmart. Would be yeah, with Bakers. Yeah, with Bakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, for me, I feel like, okay, so they also have other things like plasticware, paper plates, napkins. Oh, my God. And napkins has only like the saying, oh, it's the, the freedom, freedom for me. me. I, you know that was so crazy. Oh. Like people say, oh, it's the... 
something it's, uh, for me. Shoes for me, you know, like just saying that it's something that you you like or whatever. And they didn't use so, it in even the right context. So for me, I. All this is for Juneteenth. But listen, for me, I don't see anything wrong with it. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, every flavor ice cream has a different company. Vanilla, Ben and Jerry, um, Hagen Dolls. Like the, every every ice cream company has the same flavors. Literally, mm-hmm. every co- coffee place has the same coffee flavors. Mm-hmm. Literally, black people always want to feel included. But then when they're included, they complain about the way that they're being included. If they didn't do anything for Juneteenth, where is our thing? Y'all do the 4th of July. Where is the for the Juneteenth? Like, you, you could never please black people. No, I think. And but, I get, like, some of the stuff, like, maybe the attempt wasn't the right way. But we preach acceptance. We, we preach do something for us. And then when people so try, so we getting us some Juneteenth stuff. But when people try, it's it's the backlash that come with it. We're just a hard people to please. Yeah. No, I think what you're misunderstanding I understand, is. So I understand. So no, so it's what it. what black people want when we say we want to be included. We want our stuff to be able to be sold. We want our companies to be sold in major outlets. We don't want white people making money off of pretending to be us. We want to make money off of us being us. So is the black people supporting that black owned ice yes. cream company? I, yes. I, have you bar some? I haven't seen have it in any stores here. Some? I haven't seen it in any stores here. Because I haven't seen it in any stores here. I think it's only in certain states. It's not even Prima only it's not Prima for Licious. me, it's not even only black people wanting us to do things for, for us. Because we complain about the way we do things too and the cost of it and want a discount all goddamn time. That's true. But we also want we want to be included by the big re- retailers, by th- those who are have a, a bigger platform we always want preach acceptance we always want well how can they can do it for us even if we always we always preach why do we need their approval let's start our own you know whatever but it's conflicting it's confusing do y'all want it do y'all want people to acknowledge us and us to feel accepted or do you not how are you gonna uh accept us without us make that make sense how are they gonna celebrate us when there's no black people around but they're doing it for but they're not people. though. If they're not no black people around, if there's this, not, if you're, if, if only white people are making money off of this Juneteenth ice cream that helps black people, how? No, because black people will buy stuff. They they buy stuff. But so for, then it's not no, for us. But listen, then. black black people will buy stuff from fucking Louis Vuitton who ain't black. Black people will, will buy stuff from fucking uh, all those name brand people and they're not black. Yeah, Gucci. But yeah, Gucci. All that stuff. So it's confusing to me. Prada. How you now? Yes. I could see if they had a. So, but listen, so you, hold what on. you're saying? No, hold on. I could see if they had a white lady modeling the clothes. Juicy, they do. You know this they and do. that. But that's something different. But you you preach at wanting to be accepted, and then you don't want to. I literally you don't want just it. was on Facebook and saw a white lady in a June t shirt. <laughs> it was literally it, it was uh, like a, from no, Amazon. Was I think. it from Walmart? I think it was from we're Amazon. About Walmart. But, but uh, I'm so talking about just period. You mentioned Louis Vuitton. You mentioned Prada. Well, you mentioned saying, all these other companies. Well, I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying in general. We're discussing Walmart. But okay, well Walmart. Uh, if, if only white I'm people are making money Amazon. off of black. Just like black well, face, I, just like I guarantee, just like people. I guarantee, most of the the t shirts that y'all buy is not from black owned companies. They didn't bark the images and put it on t shirts. Like yes. my Tupac so, frenzy, yes. I can guarantee so, so. Yes, but that's Tupac the same thing. That's using the black, black people. But that's exactly to what get. I'm explaining. But, when black but people you, say they want to be included, we want to make money off of us, listen, not just white people. But if, but listen, if y'all buying t shirts from somebody that ain't black, but they Pulling y'all in by using the black images, that's the same goddamn thing. Why that's we what just this make is. our own that's literally <laughs> images of black, black things. things. You can't, it can't so you, so, be, so, so you're saying one-sided. black people want the, everybody to just but listen, uh, continue to make money off but of the listen, culture while black people but remain stacked. you can't stacked. accept it from one thing and not accept it for the other. That's exactly the point of the outrage. Is your t-shirt made by a, a black-owned company? I don't know. I just bought it. I don't know, but I wasn't exclusively looking for black owned but companies. If I if I had in, went to, they pulling y'all in by using images of, of uh, famous black movies, famous black artists. Because they pull me in, that's and I got point. almost every two shirt I've So if you seen. gonna buy that? Why not buy the goddamn ice cream from Walmart and sit back and call it a goddamn day? 
See, this is exactly the point. This is exactly <laughs> the point. You're literally proving my point. That's but what you I'm are saying. Too. I was saying that's exactly what I'm saying. If you're willing to purchase a T-shirt from a white-owned company that's not from a black-owned business, then why would but you? I don't know. The ice cream? I don't know where the the. Because I'll I don't buy know vanilla ice cream. cream but if you're gonna let me know that know, this person selling black products is if I find out that the person isn't black and it's not benefiting black employees then I'm not going to support I'm not do y'all research do y'all research before y'all buy something but that's exactly my point when black people say that they want to be included that's what they mean we want financial includence we want to be included in finances we want to be included in uh, marketing well, let me we tell you how to do that in... start your own company and you'll be included well, that's what this woman did, and look what happened. This Creamalicious company, she did just that. But I just and said, they stole but I, her but product. But I just asked y'all, and, y'all, and black, are y'all it. buying her ice cream? It has no. to be available y'all, here for me to buy it. But, I'm, but if it's not, then what you, where are you going to buy it from? Walmart. <laughs> Turkey, if they're selling her product at Walmart, that would benefit her. That money goes to her, even if they're selling it at Walmart. So she should... Try to partnership with Walmart. Well, I'm sure her uh, ice cream is selling at some Walmart. That's why they got the idea to do this June Juneteenth. You know how they always have and like an off brand version of an how, ice cream. And then how do that's y'all, literally what but they that's did. What I was, that's literally what I was saying. That's. But how do y'all know that they weren't giving her some kind of compensation for it? Because she didn't say they were. Did she say that they weren't? She ain't said. She ain't said nothing because she's probably getting a cut. You don't know y'all that. Y'all quit, quit, quit. To stop it. Stop quit what? nitpicking. Quit. Just stop it. Everything got to be an issue. Every little thing got to be an issue. Y'all are too sensitive. Y'all cry too goddamn much, but don't want to help your own people. Now y'all y'all saying something about Walmart. Initially, nobody knew about this lady's ice cream. It was only because it was the Juneteenth thing, and they were so offended by it. But y'all don't support black businesses. Y'all got to just pull each other down. So quit acting all bougie and like this matters because y'all know goddamn y'all don't really give two I didn't even it. say anything about it. I was just saying. It. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even say that. Like I, I saw the post, man. I, I, ain't, I ain't no, bought the ice cream. I ain't back, said nothing. Don't be, uh, I ain't backpedaling. I stand. I stand by everything I said. When I said now. that black people, when they say they want to be included, send, they want to make money ice cream off of it. Email like, are you getting paid from this this shirt here? Did they pay you for your image? <laughs> You guys are too goddamn sensitive. Hey, I'm not the one complaining. I just said that's what they mean. That's what they mean. And it it is wrong to steal from other people. Everything has a fucking low budget version of it. Because it's supposed to be more affordable. Bakers do the same goddamn thing. No frills are the same goddamn thing. But I'll tell you what. I don't, Everybody I don't know. But, you have, but, but then you have the option of getting either the, the original product or and the off-brand you guys product. have that option. But they're not You guys here. have that they're option. You have to find out where she is in order and she'll ship it to you in a cooler. How do you know that? They do, I ain't do never that. heard of them shipping they do. the motherfucking ice cream they to do. your house. They have coolers that they can do that with. Thank you. Because if you notice that meat stuff. No, maybe I can't stuff. afford her ice cream and I could buy Walmart. Don't be, don't take away what I may want. <laughs> don't take away what I may want. I'm just saying, like, black people always want to be included and then get mad when they That's included. not inclusion. Black people get mad when they thought of, because I'm telling you, if they would have had 4th of July stuff out and not nothing for Juneteenth, they were like, they didn't do nothing for Juneteenth. They got all this stuff, all this stuff out for 4th for of July. So they, so they we want, celebrating both want, of them, y'all. What they want is for them to allow black we both. businesses to sell this their house product gonna in these be stores. Jumping. That's what they want. On they don't June want for white people to make June shirts. Downtown and in on uh, July fourth, we're gonna be at home. Just like I'm sure it wouldn't make sense for like I always found it weird when I saw. Restaurants like Mexican restaurants that have white owners. That's weird. Yeah, not eat from fucking Taco Bell and all that. With but Mason it's, it's on still places. weird. It's weird. It may be weird, but don't knock it. Like, don't I tell me you got a soul food, food restaurant and I come in there and y'all food. all white. Yeah. 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 Y'all don't food. even season your food. But you know who got the best corn? Wings, stop. But I'm just saying, everything is... Uh, uh, I've been pro- talking about food. Everything, I, I, everything I must be is, hungry. Everybody's 
a hypocrite. I do think that black people do lash out too much, though. Uh, oh, they, come that they on get to pick up their. No, well, I, Turkey, I talk to you all the time about We're how I battle with come, the black community. But Turkey, you know I battle with the black are, community black a lot. That I don't even feel like the black community is a community. But I do understand certain things. But I like. And then, if, and then uh, they. I don't think everything of, deserves attention. I don't doesn't. think everything like, deserves a if I walk, attention. If, for me, if I would have walked in Walmart and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I, don't, I wouldn't have cared if the owner was white. I would be like, oh, they thought about me versus the owner is, is being white. Because to be honest, they talking about they don't want the financial end of it. They want to be included. But people shop at Walmart all the time. Buying TVs and steak dinners and all that kind of shit. So TVs why is this such an issue? I could see nobody black shop at Walmart. You know what I mean? But we shop at Walmart anyway. I would be del- delighted if I walked past and see something that is for me that they thought of me and I, you know, I'm, and I'm already a customer there. Why make it such I a big issue? I need more than that. I don't but care why make? But we shop at Walmart shit. anyway. But I'm saying I we don't care Walmart about anyway. that. I don't care about. I'm that looking at y'all because I. I shop at Baker's. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, we shop anywhere, Any, anywhere. No, basically, What's I like if, if I, I like a product, I'm not necessarily thinking I, about who owns the product. If I like something, I'm gonna buy it. Period. But I'm saying. When it comes to certain things, I understand. I'm not saying that it has to be this and that. Sensitive. But I do think that there are some too things that sensitive. don't need attention. Some let's, things, let's like, like about, I didn't say anything about the ice cream. I just heard the let's story. Let's talk about other things that really matter. Not not that. That is just ridiculous. And again, every ice cream, chicken, clothes have their own brands. It's ridiculous to, to, to argue over that. Red Velvet. We can argue that she probably didn't even the red velvet came from somebody else. So who made the first red velvet cake? Which is chocolate cake. That's but what everybody I'm just eating saying. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying. If you want to go that deep, we might as well go all the way. <laughs> but that's all I gotta say. Anything? You just said you want to go that deep. <laughs> Let's go all the way. You sound like you want got more you want to say. You got more you want to say. She sounds like hey, something else was talking. Yeah, she has got more she want to say. Well, because that just irritated me. It's like people are just too that is sensitive. true. We ain't never satisfied. Me never. over here sitting, over here living the best days of my life. <laughs> like I, for instance, I can't wait to go into a store for somebody to do something to me so I can talk. The stuff. selective outrage, like I was talking to you earlier about that uh, that fuck nigga free song, yeah, and how people are like so upset at this girl and like hating on this girl. Talking, oh, it's so ghetto, it's so ratchet. I'm like, all she's saying is that she fuck nigga free. You got these rappers out here, these male rappers out here talking about killing each other, They're actually killing people for real. They getting arrested for murder, and y'all not mad at that, but y'all mad at this girl saying she fuck nigga free. Y'all ain't mad about. And, and because she got her friends outside twerking. And y'all ain't mad about the young ladies and, and fe- the female children getting taken away to be in sex, sex trafficking. Traf- y'all mm-hmm. ain't in an uproar about that. The chopper was sex trafficking girls and wasn't nobody it's saying ridiculous. anything about him. Argue and fight for things that really Don't matter, matter. That has a great impact on your life daily. Not some bullshit. Yeah, because that, 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 to me, I was like, why are y'all so outraged that this girl's a fucking song? And then she's only, she's not even saying anything bad. And so what, they're outside twerking. What the hell are y'all upset about? Y'all don't rage at these rappers mm-hmm. ki- out here killing each other. Mm-hmm. And how many prophecy. rappers have been killed? And y'all ain't said shit. I ain't seen not one outraged dude complaining about these rappers out here killing each other and talking about killing. Well, but y'all mad at some girls twerking. A little bit of too much of me or you and Yeah, uh, how much of that do you have? <laughs> I don't have anything else. You ladies do. You forgot. I want to say my our condolences to Ray. The man was so fine. He has such beautiful eyes. Yeah. Um, put up his picture. Ray Ray Liotta from Goodfellas. He um passed away at the age of sixty seven. Just was it Thursday or Yeah, in in his sleep he died in his yeah. sleep. Oh, that's, that's a peaceful way, way to die. go. Yeah, a peaceful way to in die. my sleep. I don't wanna die in my sleep. I sure don't want nobody to shoot. I don't wanna be surprised. I'm like, oh damn, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, because when I go to sleep I have the intentions of waking up. <laughs> That ruins sleep, and I love sleep. That's going to ruin sleep for me. Then I just will never be comfortable sleeping. Uh, Yeah, like, I don't want 
to die in my sleep. You only die once. You ain't got to worry about it happening no, twice. No, but I'm saying that's not the way I would want to go. That's not peaceful for me to die in my sleep. Cause when you I think you're having a dream and you in heaven? Yeah. I have the intentions of waking up. And something happens to me and it's right there in my face. Then I know what's coming. Going to sleep, is that wouldn't be it for me. But anyway, I don't have anything else, ladies. You do? No, I don't. It's been a great one. All right, thank you all. Tune in next week.